Well, you guys got another video here for you. Should you upgrade to Windows 11 or wait for Windows 12? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. And we're going to be going over some of the things to take into consideration, like uh, when will Windows 12 be released? Also, will Windows 12 be a free upgrade? And we also have some other news about Windows 12, like will I be forced to upgrade and things like that. But before we get into this, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key or a cheap Windows 10 Pro key, then check out CD Key Sales and you can check the links in the video description. Once you click on one of those, create account on CD Key Sales website and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you've done that, you can submit your order. And remember, you can use PayPal to pay for your purchases. Don't forget to check the video description for more details. OK, so Windows 11 was released on October 5th, 2021. That's over six years after Windows 10 made its debut. Now, Microsoft have been releasing some major updates for Windows 11, and we're on Windows 11 version 22H2 and we will be soon moving to 23H2. Now remember, Windows 10 will not receive any more uh, feature updates, so it's not going to be updated with any more new features. It's just going to receive security updates until end of life, which is October 14, 2025. Now remember, Microsoft hasn't officially announced a new version of Windows. In fact, they've downplayed any sort of reports and dismissed them and said that it's not true. And you have to take it all with a pinch of salt because a lot of people like to release things on YouTube well early than what it's actually officially announced or released. And this is because they will get views for it. So there's a lot of people talking about Windows 12 as if it actually exists. And yet there is no real hard evidence. Now, according to reports, the next major version of Windows is going to be launched at some point in 2024. That's roughly three years after Windows 11 debut. And that means Windows 12 should arrive sometime in the fall if you live in the States or uh, the second half of the year if you live in the UK. Now, another rumor that is circling around on the Internet is that Microsoft are planning on releasing operating systems every three years from now on. And there's also other rumors that the new operating system, which will be Windows 12, will be subscription based where you would have to pay for a subscription. Now that moves on to the next question, which is always uh, popping up is will Windows 12 be free to upgrade? And it's more than likely that Microsoft will stick with this policy of offering major Windows updates for free to existing Windows users. Uh, and that's been going on for a few years now. So I can't see why they would just suddenly stop offering you a free upgrade. So if you've got Windows uh, 10, you would get a free upgrade to Windows 11. And if you had Windows 11, you would get a free upgrade to Windows 12. And that's normally what Microsoft do. And they've been doing that for many years. So I can't see why they would change that right now. So will you be forced to upgrade to the new operating system? And Microsoft have sort of eased up a little bit on the forcing of uh, upgrades to the new Windows 11. And uh, they sort of dampen that down a little bit. They haven't been pushing it as much. But again, if you're on Windows 10, that end of life will come in very soon in 2025. So you'll have no option but to either go to Windows 11 or you can skip Windows 11 and hope there's a Windows 12. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? Because Windows 12 is going to be very similar, in my opinion, to Windows 11. It's going to have a lot of Windows 11 inside of it. And again, with new operating systems, if you don't like Windows 11 now, you're probably not going to like Windows 12 because it's probably going to have a lot of the same features that Windows 11 has. They don't make masses of changes to the actual operating system. You might get a little bit of a gooey face lift on the start menu and things like that to make you feel like you're getting a new operating system when really, it's the same in the back end. If you go delving deep inside of versions of Windows, you will see old remnants of old operating systems still around inside uh, each version of Windows. So I don't think there's going to be a massive change from Windows 12 to Windows 11. And with every operating system, 
uh, they all get a lot of flack and they all get a lot of uh, hate from a lot of people online. And to be honest, Windows 11 has had its fair share. It hasn't had the best start. And a lot of people were hating the, the system requirements and they were also hating all of the built up uh, telemetry inside there, the unwanted apps and settings that you have to go through and change. And a lot of people don't like all this stuff in Windows 11. And uh, it was about in Windows 10, but it's got worse in Windows 11. But I do believe that if you're using Windows 10 now and you're looking to upgrade to Windows 11, then you shouldn't be worried about it because Windows 11 is a pretty good operating system and it is pretty stable. The only thing I would say that you can change some of the things you might not like, for instance, that big start menu there, that is changeable with software and it only costs about five bucks and you can change it uh, to something that looks like Windows 10. And if you don't like this, the actual right click context menu, this can be changed. So all of the little pet hates that people have with Windows 11, these can be altered and changed very simply and easily. And it goes with the same thing with telemetry. You're never ever going to stop telemetry. Telemetry is in your browser that you use. It's also in the operating system that you use, your ISP or your VPN that your software that you're using, everything that collects data. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, that collects data. Same thing with shopping on Amazon. They will be collecting data as well. It doesn't matter what you do online, you'll be monitored and you will have data collected. So let's talk about some of your options and what you can do. If you're using Windows 10, and you've got until October 2025, which we already know. But again, you're still in the Microsoft ecosystem, so it's not really much difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you're looking to skip Windows 11 and going straight to Windows 12, then by all means do so, but you're not going to miss out any of the telemetry and any of the other stuff by doing that because Windows 12 is going to be Windows 11 with a overcoat on. It's not going to be a complete different operating system. It is going to be the same OS with a facelift. And that is because Microsoft have never rebuilt an operating system from the ground up. They've always used what they've had previously and made some changes. Now, you're probably going to get the best parts of Windows 11 and have those uh, integrated into the new operating system, whether it be Windows 12 or whatever, whatever they call it. And that's going to be integrated into that OS. And then they're going to change some of the uh, GUI interface to make it look like a new OS. That's exactly what Microsoft have done, and they've done it for many years, and they'll continue to do that right now. So really, you're not skipping Windows 11 theoretically. You're just going to be basically using a new operating system, which is called something else, and it's going to have parts of Windows 11. In it. It's still going to have all that telemetry and a lot of that bloat. I'm pretty sure of it. If, more, if anything, it'll probably have more bloat in it. And uh, you're not going to be able to avoid it unless you go to uh, Linux, which is probably not an option for a lot of people. Go and buy a Mac or you can continue to use Windows 10 up until 2025 and then extend that using an LTSC version. Or you can basically use it without any security updates, which I wouldn't advise you to do. So really, uh, now's the time really for upgrading to Windows 11. Windows 11 has been you know, plagued at the very beginning because people don't like change, but it has got a lot better uh, with time. And I do think that with these latest feature updates, they've made leaps and bounds. And with 23H2, when that gets released, who knows, that could be the new version of Windows for all we know. But really, 23H2 will be released very soon, and this will have some of the latest features on it. So another big question is what's going to be new in Windows 12? Will there be a significant change in the minimum system requirements compared to Windows 10 and Windows 11? There's a really strong possibility that Microsoft could, uh, you know, nail that down even further. They might not. They may keep it the same as Windows 11 uh, because now they've gotten rid of all of the old types of systems that they don't want to support anymore. So you're going to end up with probably the same system requirements for Windows 12 as you would for Windows 11. But then again, that could change slightly and they might add a few generations uh, restrictions to uh, Windows 12. We'll just have to wait and see. Because Microsoft have done it with Windows 11 where they had that strict 
system requirements and it caused major problems for a lot of people. And of course, it is still causing a shockwave after all of that announcement way back when, uh, three years ago. So it's very possible that they might not want to go through that again because I don't think they uh, recovered from that because you've only got to look at the amount of Windows 10 users compared to a Windows 11 users. Now, if your system is compatible with Windows 11, I don't see why you shouldn't be using Windows 11 right now because it's stable and it's working perfectly fine. And again, you may get to wait for Windows 12 to come along and find out that Windows 12 doesn't support your PC and you'll be forced to upgrade to Windows 11 anyway and you've just held off of all that time. Now, some people are saying that Windows 10 is better than Windows 11. I don't think that's the case. I think a lot of that's just the people just getting on the internet and doing a bit of hate on Windows 11. But at the end of the day, it's your choice. If you want to continue to use Windows 11, do so. If you want to upgrade to Windows 11, by all means, now's the time to probably do that. And it's probably the best time to upgrade to Windows 11 right now. Uh, who knows what the future lies for Windows 12? If there ever will be a Windows 12, we may be just stuck with Windows 11 from now on. And they may just drop the 11 and just call it Windows. We just don't know. There's been rumors of that happening as well. And then going to a subscription-based uh, type of operating system. We just don't know. Now, of course, if you're using an operating system that's not receiving any security updates or any of that stuff, and there's people on the internet that seem to think they don't need antivirus programs and they don't need security updates and they're using Windows 7 or Windows XP and all of this nonsense, those people are just a minority. They're so small. And most of the hate you're seeing in the comments section of Windows uh, videos are normally Linux users that are just stirring the pot up and causing a bit of a, a controversy on the internet. But really, I don't get involved in any of that. And just remember, if you're using Linux and you're happy using Linux and you've transferred over from Windows to Linux and it's all working out fine for you, good for you. There's no need to then become the, you know, the person on the internet that everyone sees every day saying, just install Linux. Or, you know, here I am sitting happily on my Linux machine with no problems. I mean, come on, be real. So anyway, I'm starting to ramble. I'm going to end this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. Thanks very much for the support. And I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.